Up until 10 minutes ago, actually almost exactly 10 minutes ago, I intended to devote this commentary to a discussion of the Green New Deal, which is animating political controversy in the United States and increasingly around the globe. And then I abandoned it. Why? Because across my computer screen there arrived a press release from UNAIDS, that's the body, the UN body that oversees the response to the pandemic internationally. And on this occasion they were celebrating International Women's Day and calling for increased action to protect young women and girls from the virus, from infection with HIV. The figures are staggering. 460 adolescent girls are newly infected worldwide every day. That's over 168,000 new infections annually. And 350 adolescent girls die every week from AIDS-related illnesses. That's over 18,000 unnecessary deaths every year. And as you went down through the press release, figures were more and more startling. For example, the single leading causes of death uh, with all women worldwide between the ages of 15 and 49 are AIDS-related illnesses. And if you segment those figures down into the 10 to 19-year-old age group, 66% of the new infections are very young women and girls. And if you look at Southern and Eastern Africa, 79% of the new infections are young women and girls. So anyone who pretends that somehow the pandemic has come or is coming to an end is hallucinating. This damnable scourge remains with us, palpable and constant. And as I was reading the press release and being startled by the figures, I got more and more aggravated, angrier and angrier, because I can't tell you how many activist groups, including AIDS Free World, have over the years desperately been focusing on young women and girls as the most vulnerable groups susceptible to infection and requiring a kind of major co-celeb intervention on their behalf, UNAID should be pummeling governments day in and day out, shaming, naming, going to the barricades, giving them no pause, making it the centerpiece of our response, and it hasn't happened. Except, of course, on animated press releases on International Women's Day. That was last week. This week. Today, I'm Stephen Lewis.